And I got on the bus, and I think there was only like two other people on the bus. And all of a sudden, this boy said, "You know, if you're a boy, you're a boy, and if you're a girl, you're a girl, and that's the way it is." And people do really get angry when they can't figure you out. When they can't figure out your gender. They get mad. For so many years before my transition. I kept who I was and who I really wanted to be in the closet. Nothing is going to make me be born male. <laughs> you know, physically, nothing's going to make that happen. Nothing's going to make me have that experience of growing up as a little boy. I am made in the image of God. I am made I in the image of God. I am made 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 in the image of God. About a year ago, Ashley Moore came to me talking and expressing her desire to begin a transgender choir. Not just any choir, but a gospel choir. So what you're about to hear are saints of God, those individuals called by God to lift his name. So without further ado, I would like to present Transcendence. Yeah. Before, when I looked in the mirror, I would look and I would convince myself that what I saw was okay with me. As long as you give me the respect for who I am as a human being, I'm okay. The person I am is not something you get to agree or disagree with. It's just how it is. There's been a lot of questions I've heard personally about who, who are we? The coming together of the powerful spiritual presence and strength and value from every single person in the choir and really acknowledging and being a part of something so much bigger than all of us. Bless me, bless me. Music and song has a great history of, of being the medium for the people to convey thought and to convey passion and convey, you know, the human spirit. Oh God. I didn't know how it was going to form. I just knew from prayer and from the things I was looking at that I was going to do a music ministry for the transgender community. Who is the community that is most marginalized by church and society? It would probably be the trans community. The transgender choir is actually doing something very important and challenging a lot of things that the religious right says. I will be the first to say that I think in many ways organized religion has failed in that way. You have just as much right to sit at God's table as I have. So I'm here today because God kept me. I'm alive today only because of His grace. Oh, He kept me. God kept me. Let go. Get ready because a change is coming. <laughs>